5G it's already being tested in many parts of the world and most flagship phones now support it and it promises speeds up to 2 Gbps that is 2 GB per second. With that speed, you could download entire season of TV shows within seconds. But with new technology comes the question of, is it safe? And with it, conspiracy theories like 5G causes cancer, 5G can be used to control us, and 5G is being used to spread the coronavirus. We'll talk about all that. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Ajay. I'm a doctor from Bangalore, India. And in this channel, I talk about health, lifestyle, and a bit of medical entertainment peppered in between to keep things interesting. So if you're new here, check out the other videos and please consider subscribing. Let's get started. First of all, what is 5G? 5G basically stands for fifth generation of wireless data transfer technology. It's basically the next step after 4G. It allows, like I said, massively fast internet speeds with very low latency and this would enhance connectivity for users and devices. You can download files faster, you can watch videos in full HD and buffering would be a thing of the past, like floppy disks. We could have fleets of driverless cars managed over this steady and fast network and driverless cars can communicate with each other and avoid collisions. Surgeons can perform surgery over the internet. The surgeon can be in India or UK or in the US and can perform surgery on a patient in Africa using robots. Everything we use, from our toasters to our shower heads to our running shoes can be connected to Internet of Things and this would all work very seamlessly because of the low latency. 5G is going to be the future of the Internet. We might even stop needing optical fibers, modems and Wi-Fi routers and all of these things are going to be things of the past. So this is a great technology, right? At least it sounds like one. But instead of being overjoyed about the possibilities, why are people worried about the risks? And why have you not hit the like button yet? Well, it is human nature, an evolutionary trait to be worried about new and uncertain things. Whenever a new or an unknown factor is introduced into human surroundings, the first response is fear, anxiety and caution. It's important to have this trait. Say if you didn't have this trait a million years ago, we would have probably all gotten killed or eaten alive. So it is a good trait here to be cautious and anxious, especially when a word like radiation is attached to it. But too much caution is also a bad thing. If we were too afraid of the fire, we would have never learned to control it and use it for our benefit. If we were afraid of flying, we would have never been to space. So the right way to deal with new technology is to know what it is and how it works. 5G is a type of electromagnetic radiation, just like light but with much lesser frequency. Visible light has frequencies ranging from 400 to 790 terahertz, whereas 4G has frequencies ranging from 600 millihertz to 6 gigahertz. Now 5G has frequencies ranging from 28 gigahertz to 300 gigahertz, which is still way lesser than that of light about 1000 times lesser. Now for radiation to cause cancer, it has to break bonds in the DNA of our cells. And to break bonds, it needs significant amount of energy. It needs enough energy to knock off electrons from the outermost orbits of the atom to make the atom ionized, thus break the molecular structure in the DNA. Now this alteration in our DNA happens quite regularly in our bodies, but that doesn't develop into cancer because there are a ton of protective measures to protect against development of cancer in our body. Only in very, very, very few errors, maybe one in a billion such error, does a cancerous cell arise. But even then, our body has a lot of mechanisms to fight off this cancer cell to prevent it from becoming a full-blown cancer. If we didn't have systems like this in our body, we would all be getting skin cancer just by being exposed to sunlight. Radiations that can cause ionization and can thus break bonds are called ionizing radiations. And these have very high frequencies, starting from the upper limit of the UV rays, then X-rays and then gamma rays. UV light from sunlight can cause skin cancers Repeated exposure to x-rays can cause various different kinds of cancers and this is why you see x-ray technicians wearing lead coats like these and gamma rays released from nuclear explosions like Hiroshima and Nagasaki and nuclear disasters like Chernobyl can cause lots of different cancers and can even kill instantly. Light frequencies below that of the top UV light spectrum and then infrared rays, microwaves, 4G, 5G and radio frequencies are called non-ionizing radiations. And they are called non-ionizing radiations because they don't have enough energy to knock off an electron from the outermost orbit. So they can't ionize molecules in your body and cannot break bonds in your DNA and thus not cause cancer. 
so 5g can't cause cancer basically but does that mean 5g is completely safe it may not be there is a controversial and yet unproven syndrome caused by electromagnetic wave exposure called electromagnetic hypersensitivity which has symptoms ranging from headaches to mood swings to even depression although there is currently no scientific evidence to this it may only be psychogenic but we may discover in 5 to 10 years that this actually happens especially in context of 5g because 5g is higher frequency and therefore shorter wavelength it cannot travel far it cannot pass through obstacles like trees walls and buildings and can even be disturbed by rain water so unlike 3g and 4g we can't have a big central transmitter we need to have multiple small transmitters spread across the city maybe one in every block or two blocks so this means technically that we'll have more radiation exposure from 5g than we did from 4g or 3g hmm that's a bummer but do we need to be worried not really icnirp wow it's a mouthful it's an organization that is independent and not controlled by any governments or any corporate companies it monitors the health effect of electromagnetic waves and it has cleared up to 300 gigahertz that is the top frequency of 5g waves as safe and there are very strict regulations as to how much energy these waves can carry so all of the studies done till now say 5g is safe and once 5g becomes more mainstream it will be studied more extensively and if there are any health effects it will be scrapped so bottom line you don't need to worry about the health effects of 5g and no 5g can't give you the coronavirus 5g is a wave the virus is well it's a virus if you want more proof india doesn't have 5g but india has coronavirus and 5g can't be used to control your brains it our brains don't work that way so that's it from me for today hope you guys like the video if you liked it please give it a huge thumbs up and make sure you subscribe and click on the bell icon so you get a notification every time i upload a video and that is every wednesday at 4 pm indian standard time 11 30 am british standard time and around 5 30 am eastern time in the united states stay safe and i'll see you next week